the mortal remains of Amazulu Queen Regent Mandvombi Lamine Zulu will be fetched by some members of the royal family in Johannesburg today. The Queen passed away at Mill Park Hospital last week. The cause of the death remains unclear while post-mortem results are pending. Let me take you to ENCA's Tuba Vilane, who is out in Guanongoma and watching the situation uh, from Guakangela Mankengane Royal Palace in that area. Tuba, you spoke to the health minister a short while ago. He's also weighed in on the tensions currently unfolding at the uh, household, the royal household. That's correct, Chula Sizwe. The health minister was here together with the police minister, Pegitele. But before I go to that, Chula Sizwe, maybe if I can move out of the shot, you can see this is the entourage that is um, preparing to leave Kwakangela Mankingane to Johannesburg to fetch the mortal remains of the queen, Queen Manchombi Damini Zulu. And we understand that this process will take place. In fact, they are expected to leave Johannesburg tomorrow at 9, and they are expected to arrive here around 4 in the afternoon. And we were told uh, to last that um, uh, as soon as they arrive with the body here, there will be um, a, a, a private and a mobile mortuary that has been erected here at the palace, and the, 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 the queen's body will be here until early hours of Thursday morning when he will be interred. So far, we're just waiting for the delegation. Some of them have already entered the, the, the cars. They are about to leave any time. We understand the delegation includes senior members and the princess, prince and the princesses of the queen and some senior members of the royal family together with some from Eswatini as we'll understand that the queen is the princess of Eswatini and she's the sister of the reigning king of Swatini. But back to your question, Tula Sizu. Uh, back, back to your question, Tula Sizu, maybe I can move again to the short while trying to give you more details on what is happening on the ground here. These are the cars, as we understand, Ndabe Funeral Service will be the one that will be transporting the, uh, the family members, the royal family members that will be moving to Johannesburg. As I said earlier on, they are expected to leave Johannesburg at 9 tomorrow morning. Uh, that will mean they will arrive here around half past 3, 4 in the afternoon, and then the body of the Queen will be here at the palace until the time the body uh, is taken to the ground when she in, will be interred at, um, between midnight on Thursday and then on Friday, it will be a, funeral, a, a memorial service that will be led by the provincial government. Yeah, so Tuba, those are the logistics, and thank you very much for those logistics, how uh, everything will unfold uh, from this point onwards in terms of the transportation of the mortal remains uh, of uh, Queen Manvombi Lazlamini Zulu. Um, but what about the conversation you had with the uh, health minister, Zulim Kize, um, who was there earlier on, and you managed to have a word with him around the tensions in the royal household? The current situation that is unfolding here at the Royal House is disturbing to everyone, to La Cizwe. We've seen exchanging of words between senior family members, including some of the siblings of the departed king, King Gudil Zelitini, and the, the traditional prime minister of Amazulu, Prince Mangosutu Telezi. Yesterday, there was a media briefing that was held by some senior members of the other faction, including Princess Tembi and Prince Mbonisi, they are accusing Prince Mangosutu Telezi of locking them out on preparations of the Queen's burial. I had a chat with Health Minister Dr. Zwelim Kize, who during his time as the health MEC and the premier in the province of Wazulu Natal worked very closely with the royal family, especially um, working together with the queen, especially on the issue of virginity testing, as you'll understand that the queen was very influential in reviving the red dance ceremony. But let's take a listen to what Dr. Mkiza said.
We worked very closely with His Majesty the King. We worked with the Queens, uh, particularly dealing with issues of promoting, uh, you know, uh, abstinence and fighting against HIV and AIDS, and promoting various programs to bring people together. Uh, you know, so it was, you know. There was a lot of cultural activities that uh, the Queen was involved in. Uh, we were very certain by her departure. We have obviously seen that there are uh, quite a number of uh, public issues that are being discussed. Our appeal would be for uh, both uh, you know, the members of the royal family uh, uh, as well as uh, the, uh, all those who are in the leadership to come together. We have just been sharing that with Sheng uh, Mdonaga uh, Pindangen, that it would be really helpful if uh, together with the members of the royal family, everyone could come together to discuss the issues. It's inevitable that there will be tensions when there are difficulties, but what is important is uh, for all of us to work together. The royal family has to come together, work together so that everyone else is able to give the necessary support. We know that uh, uh, the Queen has been unwell for quite a number of years. It's been a very difficult time, but nevertheless, we also know <clears throat> that uh, when the situation has arisen, like what it has now done, it becomes very uh, confusing, it becomes very sad and painful, uh, but we really hope that uh, we can get all of us working together, and particularly the members of the Royal House uh, to come together, resolve whatever issues there are, and prepare for a very peaceful send-off of the Queen. All right, thank you for that update. Live from Gwakangela Mankengane Palace in Gwanongoma, ENCA's Tuba Vilane with that update. Look out for more of Tuba's reporting here on ENCA.